So, what actually are fingerprints, and what makes them so unique? Well, the ridges on our skin, and on our, some of our closest relatives, like gorillas, or even distant relatives, like koala bears, are created by a type of skin pimple called dermal papilla. The patterns of these remain virtually unchanged throughout the whole of the owner's lifetime. By folding over the skin many times within a small area, you can greatly increase the surface area of the skin, and this in turn means that you can make the fingers much more sensitive to their environment. The ridges themselves form fairly distinct patterns known as arches, loops and whirls, and it's the paths around these ridges that they follow that makes them unique. And when fingers press down on an object, minor traces of fluids, mainly from eccrine glands in the fingers, are transferred onto the object. The eccrine glands are small sweat glands which are about ten times smaller than other sweat glands in the human body, and most of the sweat they produce is actually water with salt and a few other chemicals mixed in. However, due to the fingers making contact with the hair and other parts of the body, uh, the fats and waxes which are used in actually protecting the hair are actually transferred onto the fingers. That's these substances which are normally left behind on objects after the water is evaporated. And because the finger residue is oil-based rather than water-based, it can often remain on substances like glass for a long time after they were initially deposited on there. Now, at crime scenes, these types of print can be detected by various different methods. Some methods, like using a powder which adheres to the oils in the print, making them stand out and are becoming less common, as they may either disturb the print or also prevent other trace elements from being collected. Instead, it's now common to use an alternative light source, or an ALS, to make the print actually stand out enough to be photographed. There are also other chemicals from superglue to anhydrin which can react with the chemicals in the fingerprints to make them stand out. Now, fingerprints, of course, can be detected on other objects as well. The fingerprint pressed down on a soft object which are either hardened later or remains undisturbed and can be detected. This can be anything from soap or wax to even wet paint. So if someone's not wearing gloves, why can fingerprints not always be identified? Well, some surfaces just won't hold a print. Also, if fingers slide over the surface, the prints are likely to be too smudged to be identified. Or if an object is handled many times, identifying a single print in lots of overlapping prints again may be impossible. Then again if the hands are really clean the prints that are left behind may be undetectable. The other major cause of course is environmental. Fingerprints can last for a long time in ideal conditions but things like humidity and high temperature or even things like wind and gravity can distort or eradicate prints given enough time. So that's fingerprints and what makes them so unique.